Okay, so, end of the Monday, um, well, after hour, hour, uh, well, after, after hours, um, only a couple stocks to go over today, one of them was a loss, <coughs> for me, um, and it was this guy here, gray, um, let's see here, so, total flow, let's just call it 19 million, and at, at the very end of the day, it was at 22, so back here, I don't think it had rotated the float yet. Um, so we have a kind of breakout over 695 here. It was a high day break. Put in the 20%. Only thing with this one that I didn't like, and I going into it, I even considered it so I took a smaller position already so it was only like a hundred hundred fifty dollar loss nothing crazy <clears throat> um, it was the the history not really many days of going parabolic so I didn't think we had the odds in our favor today so I did size down because at the end of the day it was a high day break I just wanted to give it a shot see if the pattern would hold Got a little fake out, but at the end, it just failed. So, I got in, um, gray was 680, that was the high. So, I, I got in, uh, my average was 686, um, dipped a little bit, added some more into this break again. Then, we got a quick retreat back, so I just, I wanted to sell. But need to stick to my plan. Uh, got out six fifty, so not a huge loss. Um, yeah, it is what it is. Just this one just didn't work out. Good thing I sized down, and it was good to recognize that not everything lined up the way I wanted. So this one wasn't a perfect play. Sized down a little bit, and it kind of worked out in my favor this time. That I sized down, or else the stock not, as we can see. Let's see, Emrin, this one, one hell of a stock. Um, I can't wait to get the dip buy. Now that we're up over three hundred per four hundred percent or so, I don't even know. It's just up a lot. Um, so yeah, we got, I was looking for a seven twenty five break. It just happened after hours. It was just really choppy here, and if you just got it after hours and just ignored, this would, this is nice. This is very nice. Um, yeah, I just never really, never really did what I wanted. It did close, you know, near the highs. It was very nice. It is a confirmation over this breakout. So if you look at, another, at other patterns, you know, it is a multi-year high now. I can see what got it to test the high back in... 2019 here, um, in 12s, we'll see if we could break that, and maybe test 15s, um, but yeah, I don't, I don't regret not getting in this and missing all this, I don't at all, I'm still gonna have an opportunity in a few days, once it sets a red day, I'll have a dip buy opportunity, hopefully it sets up nicely, um, I did make money, on it two days in a row here I did miss the gap up um, due to being emotional here after hours and I did learn from it though because today we had a UUD okay, here we go. so this is what I'm in overnight I did trade this um, this was just maybe some money I did size down because I was on the road, um, I was heading out to SAC, you know, hour and a half drive from where I live, so, you know, I had to keep that in consideration, so I sized down, <clears throat> but I was just playing the high day break, um, nothing really crazy, over 569, initial entry 573, uh, work my way up, average in the 580s, sold into the spike here and I did regret that 
although we do have a double top here, a solid double top, I do regret selling that because I should have sold at least part, maybe held some, because see how it, you know, still tests over here because it did hold into the close. And just like AU or um, Emrin uh, from Friday night over the weekend and today, how, seeing how it gaps up. It is the pattern. I'm thinking we might have the same exact kind of move. This one is also a low float, seven or seven point eight mil um, float. Share of San Diego eleven. Uh, all time highs confirmed break multi day breakout over the four seventies. It is up a bit. Um, it is a choppy stock. It is a weird mover. I wish this here had a little bit more volume to it, but it is after hours, so. You know, I did get a little bit of a perk, but this fade is just disgusting. Um, so, as of now, I'm honestly kind of uneasy on it. I'm not sure if I'm going to wake up to a profit or not, because this was nice. I was really considering taking this. I saw it at the right time. I went to check it real quick, um, and it was up here in the 7s, 720s. Cut a locked in a quick 6, 700. Um... But I wasn't really thinking too much of the money. Well, when I did, I wanted to sell. But I had to calm myself down because it is just after hours. Just got to stick to the pattern. Right now, once again, we're at another new all-time high. I think we could get a test of 8. I think. Maybe higher. Um, volume is getting a bit much now. It's going to get exhausted soon. I don't know how much more it's got in the tank. We will find out tomorrow. Um, as of the moment, I'm going to be waking up early. <laughs> just, <laughs> I actually might have to sleep in a little bit, so I, just in case, see what happens. Um, if I wake up too early, I might just get emotional and just ruin my day. Just Sometimes they pull, pull back, and then around 5, 5.30, they get going. Volume comes in. So we'll see what happens. Um, yeah, that's really, yeah, just a high day break pattern, held decently to the close, <sighs> a little nervous about it, I gotta be honest, I am a little nervous, um, good thing I don't have an insane size, but, really thinking we could get something like this, because when I worked with TRCH, um, the other week, last week, that one gapped up 40-50% as well, just like Emrin. Um, this one set up so nicely. I regret this one. If I kept my shares, this would have been nice. Um, but yeah, so no regrets here. Sometimes, you know, things just don't totally work out. I didn't really see the other um, factors here with the breakout, multi-year highs. Um, there's a little float doing insane volume. I saw it kind of a bit much in the past few days, so I had my profits. I just kind of thought the higher the better. It would just offer a decent dip buy opportunity um, once shorts take over for a day or two, or however long. But once we get that reversal, should be clean because we got a lot of eyes on this. So I'm thinking it could be a nice play later on in the week too. As of now, just sit on our hands. Mm, yeah, just eager to see how this shapes up tomorrow. We'll see how much I sleep. <laughs> uh, yeah, there we go. That's the lesson there.